here we are in Tolokwe Territory on uh, Coke Bottle Creek, which is a tributary of the Kennedy River, and uh, we're spending the day removing waste wood. All this waste wood ended up in the creek probably a, a variety of different ways, like especially in early logging and pre-code. They logged it and then came back and they do something called shake locking. So you cut rounds of cedar, take the corners off of it, and then you get a bunch of stuff like that, which is left behind. That gets washed into the creek and it just creates a dam. Most of the time we actually, we want wood in the creek, but in this case, this creek is just overwhelmed and it's more the, the small chunks and little pieces of waste that have accumulated here to pile right up and, and create full blockages, not allowing salmon to pass and, and then fish to move freely, just to spawn and rear. Um, but it's also really altered the way that water moves and uh, that allows sediment and fine materials to fall out, sort of burying the habitat that was here. Because this is a remote site and, and a sensitive site, we don't want to be coming in here with, with large machines or, or making a bigger impact than we need to, so this project will all be done by hand. So more or less we're just picking up anything that is, you know, the right size, that doesn't wreck our backs, and we're taking it clear of the channel, stacking it in the woods so that it doesn't just get rinsed right back into the channel next rain. Currently using a winch right now with a pulley system to distribute the weight to make it a lot easier to pull bigger logs such as this one here. So it, with leverage, it makes it a lot easier for you to pull the, the rope in to move your log out of the creek. You know, especially on this particular river, the Kennedy, these small tributaries are, are pretty rare and they're, they're really high value. So by restoring what's been lost, I, I think we can have a, a pretty large positive impact on fish. I'm pretty excited to see what happens. <laughs>